Blessed be. This is High Priestess Jamila. So let me illuminate this a little bit. Okay, there's a few little specks in this. Oh, look at the orbs. Look at the orbs. So I apologize. I had to take down the live that I was doing. I took it down for specific reasons. Um, this is the Black Rose Potion, the finished product. Okay. And so it's crazy because a lot of my potions have been turned out black like this. And that is because in most of the ones that I've been doing <laughs> during this month of October have involved elderberries. Like for some reason in every potion, when I divinate it, it's elderberries. Okay. And so that's why they're so dark. That's why they're so black. Um, but this is really, really phenomenal in banishing bad spirits from your home, from yourself, from your situation, uh, can quickly turn around a situation really quickly. Um, and so you can tell that it's, it's a different, it has like a reddish undertone to it as opposed to this potion, which is a totally different thing. It has more of like an orangey color to it. And this is more of a binding cursing potion. And as opposed to this one that has a greenish undertone to it, this one is a beautiful color. I'm loving the mirror effect that it is giving. And so um, you get an abundance, okay? Um, I do have this available, uh, available for purchase um, as like a standalone or along with any spiritual working that you are doing. Uh, that includes cleanses, hex breakings, banishings. Um, this one would be more so good for binding. Um, but yeah, this one is pretty much like a, you know, unless I feel that I need to personalize it a little bit more to fit your needs, it's pretty much a standard potion ingredient. Um, what I like about it is how quickly it banishes spirits. And so you get an abundance of it. You get like uh, 32 to 64 ounces of this when you order it. Um, and so it really, really depends on how much ends up getting made. I just send you as much as possible. And then I retain some, um, you know, in case I'm doing any work for you. Um, these can be personalized to fit your needs. Like I said, this is pretty much like a uh, standard recipe for this one. But potions are really, really good. They're amazing. Whenever we think about potions, we kind of think about a small amount. But, you know, you see this big thing here, you get an abundance of it, okay? And um, I will link the video on how to use it. So the main thing that I love about this potion is how quickly it removes bad spirits. Very, very quickly. Even when I'm cooking it up, it removes, it, it's like already removing a lot of bad spirits. People send them to you and they get sent away with this particular potion. Um, and so it can be used in your floor wash. It can, I wouldn't necessarily use it in the bath. Um, the ingredients are okay to add a few drops to your bath, but it's definitely not edible. Okay. Now, I guess unless it's a person that you don't like, <laughs> maybe you could sneak a little bit into their coffee and it will get rid of them. Um, so typically now, as far as with bad spirits, that's what it works on. I can imagine that if you are banishing a person that you don't want around you, then like I said, you could put it in their drink, but you know, and so you'll, you know, the ingredients are all herbs. And I think with this one, it would be okay. But, you know, like maybe just a few drops of it, not to make somebody sick, but it's more so the magical properties of it. Okay. Um, however, it's typically what it's used for is to banish bad spirits. You know, maybe uh, a spirit got sent to you. Um, and I have noticed that it has been phenomenal. I've been using it for the past two to three weeks. Um, this is the, uh, next batch of it that I made. 
And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. And I'm, I apologize. I had to take down that video for other reasons. Um, I do have a potion making class. And um, I think that it's really important to uh, make potions and to use potions as a part of your craft. And then also, um, this is available for purchase on the website. Again, um, I would recommend it as a standalone um, if you just want to purchase it or if you want um, to uh, purchase it for me to use and send you a little bit of it. Like I said, if you have a personalized specific need for your family, for your bloodline, I do divinate with spirit to see what you're going to have in your potion. And I wonder what this looks like without this light on. Hold on a minute. Okay. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. So anyway, um, this is the Black Rose Potion. I went ahead and I didn't put the extra. Um, it, it smells amazing. It does. It It is really, really a very sweet smelling potion as well. And um, I didn't even have to add the extra rose essential oil because the dry roses work perfectly in it. So if you guys are interested, visit the website. Also, if you're interested in my potion making class or any of my other classes, the link is below in the video description box. I will see you guys later. Blessed be.